Okay, so today we're going to review this um, app that I just installed and it is called the Let's find it. It's called Loud Typer. Now, uh, you can download this app for free. And I'm using iMac for this app. I already installed it so you can hear the the sound that I chose which is the typewriter sound right there so this is the free version um, if you want to unlock all the other sound themes then you have to pay three dollars and ninety nine cents now under sound themes um, it actually includes a lot of um, selections, like different kinds of sounds that you can choose from. Now for the iPhone version, um, I think it only gives you like five free sounds. And then you have to pay on uh, 99 cents. I don't like the iPhone version of this app just because it crashes all the time. And then it's not automatic. You have to keep on changing your keyboard um, when you type. Also, it forces you to choose a theme, which I do not like. Um, and then it keeps on crashing. And it um, for the free version, it doesn't include the typewriter sound, so I basically uninstalled it. Now, cool thing about this um, free version uh, for iMac, it gives you a lot of selections, like for the drums. So each character has a different sound. <laughs> this is the space bar. Alright, handwriting. Whoop. This one's pretty cool. It's a tactile keyboard sound. If you miss it, you can, uh, it's also included in the free version. <laughs> this one's also cool. So if I just, just the sound of the command key. Whoa. And just the shift. Return. Command. It's caps lock. <laughs> this is also cool. Piano. Whoop. Go back to register. So as you can see, there's a lot of available sound themes for the free version. And then typewriter is my favorite. So happy it's a free sound. Water. Yeti. This one is funny. Let's go back to typewriter. Okay. So, um, to use this app, you have to make sure that um, when you download it, you should go, it will force you to go to um, your settings and privacy using iMac. Um, and you have to unlock it and add the app. And then you have to allow it basically. And, um, for the app to run in the background and then um, for the settings you have to make sure the application is always on and then you have the option where the icon to sh uh, where you want the icon to show if you want it in the dock like dock then it'll go down here and the menu bar is where I want it see so um, because I turned on the application uh, 
whenever I used to, whenever I need to type something, it'll just run in the background. So for example, stickies. say so basically whenever you use the keyboard it'll just produce a sound you know so that's basically it